Today's video is about my favorite porn star. Not that, sorry. Today's video is about uh, my favorite horror films, horror movies. So this movie, <laughs> This video is about my favorite horror films. I'm a big fan of the horror genre, the horror movies, all of that shit. So I thought I would talk about my favorite films. These are not necessarily the best films. Honestly, I can guarantee that a lot of these films are very like average and then just get worse. I just like a lot of them because they're fun to watch and they have a cool vibe. The hard part is going to be knowing what films I like because as much as I like horror movies, I forget. So this is a list of my top 10 favorite horror movies with whores and doors. And also these are not in order because if I had to put them in order, that would make my life really difficult and I don't want to think about that. My number one favorite horror movie is House of 1000 Corpse by Rob Zombie. That's a go-to. You can't go wrong with it. I got my knuckles done for Sid Haig, which is Captain Spaulding in that movie. He's got the same knuckle tattoos. I'm always scared that people are going to see my tattoos on my knuckle though and just think that I'm really generic with my tattoos, which maybe I am because I do have a joker on my neck and that's kind of overdone as well. But yeah, this movie is by Rob Zombie, the musician, White Zombie, all that crap. And it's not the best movie. Um, if anything, I would say The Devil's Rejects is probably a better film. I really like the aesthetic of Rob Zombie's House of 1000 Corpse. So that's why I'm going with that one. I just like the aesthetic of the film. And we got Dwight from fucking The Office in it. It does not end well for him. He turns into a mermaid. This is just one of those movies that just has the best like practical effects. Like they're just fun to look at. Next movie I like is Terrifier 1 and 2. I'll just put them together, same thing. But I would say that Terrifier 2, I do enjoy more. I think it was done better. Obviously they had a bigger budget, which is kind of a good thing to say because a lot of times when sequels are made, they are not made better. This movie's just got lots of blood, a lot of blood, more blood. I probably can't even show the blood, but it is bloody, very bloody. And Art the Clown, I would say, who is the main villain in this movie, besides in the second one, there also is the little pale girl. Very fucking funny and cool and crazy. And it's just a great, unique uh, horror villain that is added to the horror genre. I feel like up there with Freddy Krueger and Jason and all these killers that are, you know, at the top of the list of what people think about with horror movies, I think Art the Clown is gonna be right up there with them. Especially with, you know, the movies that they will be making in the future and stuff with the character. I think it's just gonna keep on adding to how well known that character is and everything they do with him. But yeah, Terrifier 1 and 2, uh, they are some of the most bloody movies I've ever seen besides maybe like the Human Centipede 2, which is not my favorite movie, but it is very bloody and disgusting. At least this movie though is actually enjoyable. Very fun film. I'm excited to see what they do in the future with it. I think they can just keep on making it better and better. So very excited. I don't know if this movie is considered horror. I would say it's horror enough. I would say so. And that's going to be American Psycho, which... What? the fuck was that? I just heard a noise. That scared the shit out of me. Another movie I really enjoyed though was American Psycho, which I didn't see until this year. Um, but I don't know why I'm so late to that party. I guess sometimes I just really put off movies, but American Psycho is fucking wild, really crazy. I don't know. He's just so fucking badass, but he's also a piece of shit. A very good example of just somebody being very bitter at the world and just shitting on it and also just kind of being delusional as fuck and you don't know what is reality and what is what is actually happening and what isn't actually happening and it's kind of just up to you to decide that is a great film i really recommend checking out american psycho if you haven't seen it do not watch the second one as much as i love mila kunis because god damn she's fucking beautiful respectfully you know ashton kutcher don't beat me up that movie fucking sucked i tried to watch american psycho 2 for like two seconds i gave it like 10 seconds or so i really was like yeah i'm gonna try to watch this ah maybe one day i'll get through it my number four favorite horror movie is a movie called creep which is there's one and two they're really weird i just kind of saw these on netflix a while ago kind of filmed in like a vloggy like documentary style and it is just like this person that goes to this person's house and they're filming them and it just gets really, I don't even remember fully, but I just remember it's really fucking good. I mean, it's got a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, so people obviously agree with me that it's fucking good. I have to watch it again. I'm gonna be honest. And I would proudly watch this movie again because I don't really remember it too much. But for the most part, I think it's just like a guy comes to document this dude. This dude's fucking a creep, uh, you know, but it kind of just goes along for a while and then shit kind of hits the fan. 
and it's all filmed in this like documentary style and it was very cheaply made i'm pretty sure the movie was i don't see why there would be a big budget for it but it is fun and it's really good and even the second one was really enjoyable nightmare on elm street the remake no i'm just kidding i'm joking okay this one's a newer one and it was made by somebody that i really enjoyed an old comedy group called the widest kids you know but it is called barbarian and it has Justin Long in it and Bill Skarsgård and some other people. It is really fun. I don't want to give away anything for the most part, but the whole movie is just weird. And I know some people maybe didn't like it as much as I did. Some people loved it as much as I did. Some people didn't. I fucking loved this movie. I thought it was great. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's the best horror movie I've ever seen. I don't know if it's the best horror movie I've ever seen because every horror movie's just got their own thing that they're going with. But I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend to check it out. And you might be like, what the fuck is this about? Just see it. Don't even like think about it. Don't look at any trailers. I mean, you could watch the trailer. The trailer didn't give away anything. This movie starts out, the girl goes to an Airbnb and then this guy's already booked in the Airbnb. They're both double booked. And you think that's gonna be the problem and then other shit kind of happens. It is really weird and it has a lot of turns and twists. It's kind of funny, but for the most part, it's just really like interesting. It's just, it's a good movie. So I highly recommend checking out Barbarian. Another one that I've always loved is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I didn't see the original until like maybe three or four years ago. But that movie, the first one, I've seen the next gen one. I fucking hated the next gen one. I don't know if you guys like it. That movie sucked. But the first one, the original, and even the second one I really enjoyed, but the first one we're just speaking about, that movie is fucking phenomenal. It really feels creepy. It really feels like you're actually going to this creepy house and everything is just shot so nicely and the way that the film looks is just kind of adds to the experience of what the movie is when i was younger and stuff like freddy krueger was my favorite like horror villain and jason Voorhees and all that stuff but nowadays i would have to say if we're going with the classics i would have to go with leatherface and his outfits he slays i mean he's got great outfits he wears makeup better than me. I might do 11. I don't know. I don't know how many I've done. Oh God, there's so many more to do. I'm gonna give this series some love, even though the director is a piece of shit. We don't need to talk about that. We already know. And if you don't know, very gross man. This movie, ever since I was a kid, creeped me out and I've always liked the villain in it. Even though all the sequels after this one, including the second one is like, the second one's very mid. All the other sequels are complete dog shit. I just recently watched the fourth one and I have to admit, it wasn't as bad as I thought the critics were giving it, which is an 8% out of 100. And then the audience gave it a zero out of 100. I don't think it was that bad because I still enjoyed it. I would probably give it like a, a 30. It's bad though. The green screen looks, oh God, it's so, it's rough. It is rough, but you can still enjoy it, maybe. Or maybe I just have a weird sense of enjoyment. But I'm gonna have to say Jeepers Creepers, uh, the original one, the first one with Justin Long again, who is fucking killing it in the horror industry. Jeepers Creepers 1 is a fucking awesome movie. And the villain is so cool, the creeper. He is creepy as hell. Unfortunately, the director is also creepy as hell. I think that's a huge reason why people don't like this series is because of the director. And also after the first one, it all got kind of really shitty. But the first one, I promise you, is a phenomenal like horror movie. I even enjoyed the other sequels for what they are, even though they're horrible. I would say the third one is bad. And I would say the fourth one is like, yes, it's bad, but I would almost say I enjoyed it more than the third one because it was more fun. You know, it's kind of like so bad it's good, I guess, in a way. This one's not gonna be for everyone, I promise. But the first one, I think most people will agree that it is a good movie. This one is 13 Ghosts with Matthew Lillard. And it is a really weird movie where these people go to a house and there's ghosts. That's it. Matthew Lillard's in it, so it makes it an automatic like seven out of 10. And the movie itself is very enjoyable. So I would give it like a nine out of 10 or something. It's a, it's a very fun movie. I don't think very many people actually even know about this movie anymore. Maybe they do, maybe I'm just not that educated. And also one of those ghosts in the movie, she can have my number. She's fucking hot. I'm not gonna lie. Like one of the ghosts is hot and I would let her stab me and eat my soul. There was like a movie that was on my mind that I'm totally forgetting about now. I mean, I'm just gonna go with this one just because it is a phenomenal horror movie. Uh, this one is Get Out by Jordan Peele. It's his first movie. Jordan Peele is funny as fuck, by the way. If you haven't seen Keen Peele, you're missing out. Get Out is so fucking good. And I'm sure you've heard that before because it was kind of everywhere and it was not that long ago that it was released. I mean, now it's kind of old, but that movie is really good. Please check out Get Out. I've seen all of Jordan Peele's movies, Get Out, Us, and Nope. But I have to say, obviously, Get Out is the best one. I think most people would agree with me on that one. Whether you're a horror fan or not, Get Out is a must-see for a movie. It's just phenomenal. I don't know what movie I'm on, dude. I'm running out of space, bro. 
fuck i know there's so many more movies i want to put but i think i've already done like nine or 20 at this point this one's called the cabin in the woods though and this movie is so fucking weird sorry i'm not describing these movies well i don't really want to describe them for the most part the cabin in the woods is so weird bro i don't even remember any of these movies anymore because i fucking watched them a long time ago but i know they're good because i still remember the names and i remember how they made me feel and the cabin in the woods is up there for making me feel like holy shit i know it's a good choice because i'm looking at the fucking reviews and it has a 92 percent on Rotten tomatoes so yes my last favorite horror movie is slender man the movie just kidding that movie fucking sucked I fucking hate Slender Man. I hate that fucking movie. I like the character, but that movie is dog shit. That is like my least favorite movie in the world. I saw it in theaters. I fucking hate that movie. I almost left the theater because it was so bad, and I never do that for any movie. But besides The Nun and Slender Man, those movies suck. And The Nun is cool, but the movie fucking sucks. Anyways, I think that is 10 movies that I enjoy in the horror movie genre. If you've seen any of these movies, let me know. Um, I would like to know your thoughts on them. Also, let me know if I should do a video on my 10 most favorite underrated horror movies. I would say. Is that how you would say that? I think that works. Underrated horror movies. Because I've been seeing a lot on this list that I'm like, I don't even think people know about these movies, but they're solid. Just don't see Slender Man, okay? Just don't fucking see it. You don't need to see Slender Man, all right? I don't care if you played the game as a kid. You don't need to see it. And if you do see it, let me know how bad it is. You can find my links all down below. I got music. I got Twitch. I got TikTok. Thank you for watching. Stay up now. Crappy less bitch. Don't quit. And peace out, thug pugs. Okay, bye.